Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So I just have a fairly quickly, um, maybe not be fairly quickly, who knows, Hobby Lobby haul that I wanted to share with you guys. So I had a doctor's appointment this morning. It is Wednesday when I'm filming. Wednesday the what you say? I have no idea because I never look at my phone to see what the date is before I start recording. So any, oh, here's the receipt. Wait just a minute. The 28th. Wednesday, June 28th. So, yeah, I had a doctor's appointment to, um, yeah, I don't want to go into any details, but there were some, a couple of things that were found during my surgery that needs addressing. One is pretty immediate. Um, so, yeah, so I had my appointment with my primary today to see what direction he wants to go in, and I have got to go and have uh, an ultrasound, and then once he gets the results back from that, we will go from there. But yeah, so anyway, I did that, and as you all know, Hobby Lobby is like one light down from my doctor's office. So I needed to go to pick up my cardstock. Um, as I told you guys last time, I was at Michael's. I picked up, they were having a sale, so I picked up a couple of packs of black cardstock, did not look at the poundage, and it was 110 pounds, so far too thick to make envelope fold to make envelope, envelopes and things that I wanted to. It's perfect for other things like regular die cuts. Um, but I didn't really like it for making envelopes and things. So I did pick me up a thing of 65 pound cardstock and this is the paper studio and here it was 40% off. So I paid like $7.19 for it. It's a hundred sheets. So I got those. And then this morning, prior to going to the doctor, I think I got up around, I don't know, 5, 5.30, somewhere around in there. Slept really good last night. Guys did not get up at all. Uh, so that was good. Um, but I got up this morning and started doing some things toward organizing and die cuts and things that I had gotten out. Um, I never actually put them back up in stamps. So I got all those put back up and all of that in its place, although my... Uh, craft room is still like a hot mess. You would not believe. It's horrible. Um, but yeah, in putting those away, I found that I needed another something um, to put stuff in. So they had this one, and I've already threw away the things. It was like spell. It's not spell binders, but it's spell, spell something um, at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I got this one. So it came with five of these, and I already have one or two of these. How many do I have? Let me turn around. I have one, um, and I really like it. It seems to be pretty sturdy, pretty big rings in there, um, but yeah, I found that I needed another one, so I picked up this one. It was $8.99. It came with five of these sleeves here um, for the $8.99, and then I bought an extra sleeve of, I think, five for like $2.99, so I have that ready to do some organizing there. And then, guys, I was going to look for some fabric um, to go, like, uh, I was thinking, and I really should stop doing that because I hurt myself every time I do it, but I was thinking that fabric that I got, let me grab it. Oh, Lord, that way you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this fabric that I got that I really want to make an art journal with I was on the hunt. Now, this is green, kind of like an olive-looking green to me, um, but the pattern that's on it, I absolutely love it. It just looks like just looks like a lot of mark-making, to be honest with you, but it, but it is in these circle thingies. Um, but anyway, I want to make a couple of journal covers for this, and I did get this at Hobby Lobby. This was all they had left, and it was significantly marked down, uh, so I went ahead and just took all they had to take it off their hands. Because I really loved it. But I'm looking for something to go on the inside. So I did look at some olive green ticking. Olive green gingham. I looked at some that was the same green. But it had a, some kind of pattern. Abstract like pattern. Like a couple of different ones. And I looked at a solid olive. Guys, I didn't like any of them. I forgot to take a piece of this with me. So I was not 100% sure of the green. But I think this is more of an olive green. Uh, but yeah, I left without any fabric. Because uh, yeah, I wanted to be sure. So I had ended up. I'm not even sure why. Going down the paint slash art section and they had reduced orange stickers everywhere so they must be going what in my business is called a reset 
So they clearance things out, mark it way down, close it out, whatever, manage your special it to get it out of there because their plan is to put something new or, and or different in there. So just about all of these paint brushes were gone. Um, I did find this one. It was regularly $10.99. I got them for $2.74. So there's three of these, and this is the Fine Touch brush set, all purpose. And then this one was regularly $9.99. I got it for $2.49, and it actually has five brushes in it. So very happy with those. So I got those. And then I went on down. Uh, no, I went around. I'll show you the other one in a minute. And the trim and lace at Hobby Lobby was 30% off. Um, so I ended up getting, let's see, this was regularly $5.99. I got it for 30% off, but it's just, um, uh, yeah, those things, pink pearls on a strand. So I thought those would be cute and some shabby chic. Um, I started to get more stuff, guys. I had it in my buggy, then I went and put it back where it went. You know, I'm trying to do better, but, you know, I guess you want what you want sometimes. All right, something I have never used, guys. But when I was down the aisle, before I hit the paintbrushes, I ran across these with all of these reduced stickers on them. And I was intrigued, so I picked it up to see what it is, because I have no idea what it is. This is, which one did I take it off of? One of them, this one. Okay, so this is Amsterdam, and this is actually acrylic ink. I know absolutely nothing, well, I do now, only because I came home and searched it on YouTube. And, gosh, I forgot to get her name. Oh, man. I will leave it in the description box because I just subscribed to her. To the Dutch artist or something like that. Her name is Marie Louise. There we go. There it is. Um, she has some great tutorials on how to use uh, acrylic inks because I knew nothing on it. So, I just went on YouTube and searched how to use acrylic inks. Um, some of them was, like, way out of my league. I'm like, I'm not... Okay, yeah. And then one, she had everything fast-forwarding so quick, you couldn't actually see what she was doing, and she wasn't explaining it very well. But luckily, I found um, Marie Louise's channel, and I will link it in the description box below. Um, but this is like a pinkish-red color. Uh, and, it, and she does say to shake it up really good, which I see why now, because it does settle. Um, but yeah, so this is like, uh, this is a water-based... Yeah, um, so you can use it um, with as like watercolor, so you can use it with water, which is what Marie Louise was doing. Um, so yeah, I ended up okay. So let me show you this, guys. Looky here. Oh, let me stand up. Regular price six ninety nine. You see it? Look what I paid a dollar forty nine. I mean, seriously, come on, guys. I could not get it. All right, so this right here is the true color underneath, not on the top. That's why you got to shake it really good. So this is a really light yellow color. Very pretty. And this is Naples Yellow Deep. So once it's mixed, I have absolutely no idea what the color is going to be. So there's that. This one looks like a more deep yellow. And this is Azo Yellow Deep, I think is what it says. Yep. This one was $5.99, and I got it for $1.49. So some of these were $5.99, and some were $6.99 regular price, but I got them all for $1.99. We have a pink here, which is on the lighter side, and I can't even say that word. Yeah, I'm not going to try. It's a rose light, and this one's even lighter, and this one is light rose. Go figure. Um, and then here we have a purple or a violet, ultramarine violet. And then this is like true gray or something like that. No, natural gray. Um, and then this one is a blue. This is brilliant blue. And this one is like a sky blue. And I think that's the name of it. Sky blue light. Yep, so that one's pretty. And then this is a really red. Uh, Carmen. Carmine. 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 Carmen. Yeah, really, really red color. Looks like red lipstick. Oops, get up there. And then this one is another pinkish color. Um, did I already show you that one? Did I get two of these? 
No, that's Rose Light, and this is like that name I can't say, and this is just the Rose. And then this one. Now, guys, this one is like a brownish-looking color because this is called Burnt Sienna. It's like an orangey. It's like an orangey brown, but it really looks more brown. And I'm already kicking myself for not getting more of these, if there was even any more there. Just for the fact that Marie Louise was doing some stuff and she used brown. And it's like she's making it super easy. She made it super easy on how to do some abstract stuff or some like a background. And then she put trees in it. She made it look so effortlessly. Now, you know, I'm not going to be able to do it that way. Not eff effortlessly. Me and that, yeah, just not go in the same sentence. So here we go. Three, six, nine. I ended up getting 11. And again, for $1.49 each instead of $6.99 or $5.99. All right, guys. I think it is nap time for me just because I'm lazy. No other particular reason than that. So I think I'm going to go lay down. Um, my husband's on his way home. He had to drive out to work for a hearing test. So he is on his way back home. He called just a few minutes ago to ask me if I needed anything. I told him I was fine. Um, but I was going to lay down. So I told him to wake me up at 3.30. So hopefully later I will feel up to, um, yeah, doing another video. Or I may just come in here and try to get some organizing done. Because I still have digitals out the yin-yang um, that I pulled from my um, vintage filing cabinets that's in my family room that I have not, they've been laying in here for days. I need to get something done with those. Yep, so that is my quick Hobby Lobby haul. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your support. Thank you for your continued prayers. I love you all, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.